It's far. Oh my gosh! know what it is we're getting ready strapped up getting ready for the day please about to be another day we're with everyone out here with my boy Kenny what's going on Senor? caution live animals exactly guana crossing you guys already know what the deal is you guys see the action that's going on it's about to go down right here in South Florida stay tuned the first move today is we're at one of our spots to where we're allowed to shoot so not many spots like that, huh? Not at all. Because you got you're dealing with the police. It's not like we don't like the police, but unnecessary police activity with us is unnecessary. Yeah, we yeah. We don't need none of that. We trying to. They got a little in. too much power. Exactly. Too much <laughs> talking. Too much. I need ID. Where you living at? All yeah, yeah, yeah. Unnecessary. <laughs> we're 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 innocent. We're like we're like basically the animal police. Okay. The iguana ninja. Spotted an iguana while driving. Got him. Yeah, in the back. All right, so real quick, guys, we're at the job, and uh, we caught four of them, all right? So we're almost halfway there of today's quota, okay? Check it out. A nice little, looks like it could be a female uh, juvenile iguana right here, guys, removed. She's, she's right in the phase of a of, of, uh, teenager to becoming an adult right here, guys. As you can see, she's getting real thick over here with the spikes. Head's getting big. Teeth's getting big and she's about a good two and a half feet. So she's, she's right in that sweet spot of becoming a giant. Stalking the prey. <laughs> See if we can uh, complete the quota and fill out our tags, y'all. Got a permit for 10 iguanas. In the bag. Bagged them, tagged them. Y'all might think, why are you guys taking out the babies? Guess what, guys? The babies are the ones, the babies are the culprits eating all the landscape and you can't even see it. They call it the green plague over here in this neighborhood, guys. All right, iguanas out here eating the stuff. They plant the plants in, in, in three, four days. Why are all the plants missing? They didn't see no iguanas. When you go up to it, you see the iguana bite marks. And it's because the babies, you can't see them. Their, their camouflage is impeccable. Look at the colors of that against a, a green bush. You're not gonna see it, guys. I don't care who you are, unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. You're not gonna see it. So the, the baby ones, ones they need to take out, they're the ones eating all the beautiful flowers and going completely undetected. so fast you see that is there one in the water with his head sticking out or no I got him here. that was it boys that was it. Lights out. Lights out. all right guys you guys seen it right there 
Uh, we pulled up. We seen this red leopard iguana, but we had to take them out, guys. So we got to take out all the iguanas in this area. But real quick, guys, I just wanted to show you the pattern of this lizard. Is it me or is it just a coincidence that it's the same exact color as the roof tiles? I don't know, guys. Are these iguanas learning to adapt to their surroundings or is this just a whole nother subspecies, guys? Drop some comments, let me know. We're trying to figure out what and why this phenomenon is happening with the red leopard coloration. And how long does it take? You know, how long does it take for him to switch to green, to red, and then back? Exactly. I, I don't it, know. Exactly, guys. It's mind boggling. There's a lot of answers. There's a lot of questions that we just need answers for. But that's why we have you guys watching these videos so you guys can help us out. We caught this red leopard. Let me know in the comments if you gonna let me know in the comments if you guys have any information about this phenomenon. Stoned them. Where's the other one at? Where? Look to the right of the tree, there's two. Oh, I see him. He's done. Whack them and stack them, dude. There's one more right there. He's toast. Where's the bigger one at? He's gonna feel that in the morning. All right, so we took out, we seen three of them guys. They were out here chilling in this backyard. For whatever reason, we just took all three of them out with the air rifle. Let's see if we can go over there, recover them, put them in the bag. Okay. Now that we've euthanized these iguanas guys, we don't wanna leave them there just to rot and, and to just get all nasty guys. So we're gonna go over here. Ninja's got the recovery right here on this big one. Look at that right there, guys. Humane shot right there. Look at that. One hit kill, guys. And then there's another one over there. Guys, these iguanas are getting really, really bold, guys, for them to be coming this close. It's insane. Okay, guys, we're out here. Real quick, look at all those baby iguanas right there. You see that? We're gonna be trying to set some traps to catch these babies, because obviously they're way too small to shoot. There's three of them right there and they're just, look, they're living inside, oh my goodness, they're going inside the AC unit thing. What? Guys, they just disappeared in this AC unit bush area. So we wanna set some traps right around here. Oh my, oh, well, just like this mouse trap right here, we wanna set some kind of trap and we'll check on it. See if we can catch them. 